Since 2016, UF IFAS faculty have been working on living shorelines in Cedar Key, Florida. Living shorelines are softer, greener alternatives to stabilize shorelines from erosion, sea level rise, and other damage. They protect, restore, or enhance natural shoreline habitat and maintain coastal processes through the strategic placement of plants, oyster shell, and other structural organic materials. UF IFAS faculty have collected data that indicates that living shorelines in Cedar Key reduce the potential impacts of Hurricane Idalia. There's different elements that you can bring in as the breakwater, the energy break, or the planting, mangroves, marsh, lots of different ways you can put together a living shoreline, but having them as demonstration sites um, is really powerful. Living shorelines are relatively new. They undergo all sorts of different dynamic interactions, including hurricanes, and so we're learning a lot by this latest hurricane on how well they hold up in the extreme event. So one way we evaluate the success of these projects is to look at the wave energy and whether or not we are actually attenuating anything. The idea behind attenuation is that if a wave that's coming in at a certain height, once it goes over the structure, the element becomes smaller, that change in height or change in energy is attenuation. So it's the reduction in the amount of energy or wave height that wave has coming into shore. Um, and so by measuring the wave height, which can be then converted into wave energy on the outside, what we call the incident wave, the wave that's coming in, relative to the wave that actually goes through or is inside the living shoreline, the difference between those heights and difference between the energies is what we're attenuating because of the vegetation. And so to do that, we have these little wave gauges and we were able to deploy 23 of them during Hurricane Idalia including all along our living shorelines. And so we have a way to compare that incident wave and the wave that actually came on shore and showed how well these shorelines are actually attenuating. 